What's up folks, DC5 Brandon here, uh, doing a continuation log on my 2012 Porsche Cayman S, Black Edition. Uh, I was making changes to this car, I kind of left it up in the air last time about what I was going to do to it. Uh, things to make the car pop a little bit. Um, I've had the Black Edition for almost uh, seven years now, so thinking of uh, things to just make uh, things that I've always wanted in the original Porsche, but was never able to do because I had the Black Edition. Uh, so I'm going to introduce you to some of these things. In case you didn't catch my original video, you can go see what the car looked like before. It's kind of a comparison. Uh, let's see here. But if you notice right away, I got the red seat belts. So yeah, this is kind of something cool Porsche's been doing for a while. I don't know when they first introduced this option, but uh, I know that the 987s, it was an option, and this particular car did not have it because, of course, it's Black Edition, amongst other reasons, and the person, the original person that ordered it didn't want this option. Uh, these are super cool, um, and I don't know if I mentioned it in my last video, but uh, I ordered these, uh, and right when the, uh, you know, the end of the pandemic and the beginning of the Russian-Ukraine war. Uh, I think that was the reason it took a year for me to get these. I ordered them in the end of 2022, December, and I just got them in uh, basically one year later, so the end of 2023. So I'm really excited. There, I had some other stuff ordered too, but I was holding on to them for a year because I didn't just want to do a little bit of something and then come back and do another. I wanted to do just a just uh, the whole contrast change of everything together because there's a central theme to all this stuff I'm doing and it's red. So I got this uh, tack. Uh, I'm not sure. I should have looked up the name of the company. Uh, it's on Suncoast. They sell these, uh, uh, these uh, instrument cluster faces for the 987 and the 0.1 and 0.2, I think. Uh, these are super cool. Uh, I first saw these in a couple of uh, videos. I saw like the GT3s had them. Some some uh, people are ordering them as options uh, for some of the... I guess you can get them on Carreras too and the, all the different 911s. But I first saw them on 911s. I was like, oh my god, that's super cool. Like, how can I get this? Uh, and yeah, you can order it through Suncoast um, online. Uh, I want to say FVR. It's a company in Germany that makes these. They're, it's not OEM. Uh, but I'll have a picture and I'll try to insert a picture at night. Uh, there was some worry that like maybe these don't show all the right instruments at night, but if you can see there's little uh, clear cutouts here so the lights behind show through at night. And it looked great at night, so I'll, I'll insert a picture in this video later. Uh, but yeah, uh, really pleased with the look. It really makes this dull black interior really pop when you get in and you get the red seat belts and you get the red uh, instrument cluster face is really cool. Now I will say the instrument cluster face you may want to do, if you do this yourself, you may want to go online and, and watch a video. There's a video online of how to replace the instrument cluster face on these cars. Um, and it's, it look, it's easy at first, but then it, you have to be very careful because of course I read somewhere the needles are very easy to break you when you're removing and the needles and uh, putting them back on you have to be very careful uh, but it looks like something if if you're used to working on cars it looks like something you can easily do the only thing I was concerned is I've removed stuff with this car before including the radio which I broke and I didn't want to do anything like that this is pretty complex part of the interior to remove that instrument cluster face it may be as just easy as popping this thing off I don't know how easily it is or if you have to remove the whole dash but I, I just took it to the dealership and had them do it and they said they were able to do it um, and I got two more things so amongst those things uh, I also did this tiny little touch it, it looks like a normal shifter manual shifter for the 987 and I don't know if I can get it focused the light is coming in on the other side there but yeah a little uh, the uh, the shift pattern is in red, if you can see right. So this looks almost exactly like my stock shifter. Same uh, chrome or uh, aluminum look. But there's a this nice little touch of like the red 
shift pattern phase, which is really cool considering all the other stuff I did. This wasn't very expensive. So I said, oh, that, that'll be a nice touch. You know, I, I was going to get a full red. Uh, Porsche sells an OEM red one that has got red um, Alcantara. But I, I, and I might do that later, but I thought it, that might be a little too much. But now on reflection, I think that would have been just right. I think that would have been perfect. But I was afraid that it, it would be too much red in here. Um, of course, the doors and the dash and everything else are red. And I wish I had red stitching in the steering wheel, but... Um, or the seats, but, um, but yeah, uh, I, oh, I uh, got one more thing, but those, those things I really like, um, like I said, I might get a new shifter later. Uh, they're not very expensive. I think this one was $180 or something like that. And the outside is black. Of course, all, I, I still had the red calipers. So all the way around, I've got red calipers, which is kind of cool to have a little bit of red on the inside and outside, but red S badge. So I apologize for the dirt. I don't know if that's coming up on the camera, but I uh, didn't have time to wash the car beforehand. But yeah, um, I saw this on another Cayman. I, I don't know what color the body was, but I thought, oh, that's really cool to have the S a different color than the rest of the badging. So, uh, so yeah, I think that was kind of completing the whole look of just getting these tiny little red accents throughout the car that is a black edition and i'm sorry for anyone that's subscribed to my channel that is that owns a black edition but come on i i, I went seven years so i think it's time that uh i mix it up a little bit all right if you have any questions or anything leave it in the comments um i'll be for all you people that are still rsx subscribers uh i'm going to be doing a lot more stuff with the rsx this year um massive massive changes for that car so uh, stay tuned uh, in the next four to six months and uh, hopefully um, all that stuff will come to fruition all right check you next time